Welcome everyone, we are the Grin Brothers. Hello. We're continuing no. our playthrough of Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Don't go on, it's not worth it until you, like... Is there any... Oh, you can get something for it then? Yeah. Want awesome. This, this, this pumping stuff gets you the most useful item in the game. For this area and almost nowhere else. Because it lets you just breathe underwater. And I love it. Well, they use a teleport to get in there. There's a lot of the, um... You remember me, voids? You mean slug? Slimes. The green slimes, yeah, yeah. me boys. You get a fight a lot of them. Okay, well, let's see. I'll have my fusion grenade, I'll have my proton drum, I'll have my flamethrower, and I'll have my Mr. Zircon. So basically, like, your normal Your set. normal set of weapons, yes, but it's the ones which work. I can't hit that. No. There is no explodey thing on it. Can you figure oh, out? Oh, is there a hydro pump there? That's actually a hacking tool, but you're not far off. If you use your ability to change camera angle, you will discover new things. <laughs> <laughs> I love... You... Right, can I just say, like, if I got hired for a, any form of video game job, I just want to be the really sarky narrator. I would love that job. Just that to... was an unlockable thing in uh, Wave Race for the GameCube. As no, right. A sarcastic uh, announcer. Oh, no. oh, wow! Great boost! I'd love to be. Oh, that was a brilliant trick. Almost broke your neck. I think every game should have a Saki narrator or Sanka de Sorts. Mm. Just because it makes everything better. And there are some countries that literally don't understand it. I do find that funny, not being able to uh, people not being able to understand sarcasm. Yeah, it was like... Um, the good old Jesse Cox. It wasn't sarcasm, but he was playing that insult. Uh, oh yeah, the one that. where he kept using elderberries! He was told to, because it was the tutorial. Um, but more importantly... None of the insults made sense. He, yeah, he didn't in understand a lot of the insults that were being thrown about, and I was like, I understand it, they're not insulting him, that's what makes it insulting and funny. Mm. It's banter, mate. Banter is like a lot of countries don't seem to know. Alright, that, kind of that one goes really. there. The hell is talking to me? Or it doesn't because, hmm. Oh. Okay, no, that one goes there. Oh, but does it really? You have to activate it. Active. Oh. Okay. Same with that one. It's not activated. Oh, okay. That would explain a lot. I'll put that one there. There we Yay. go. I was wondering what wasn't work. What wasn't working there? It's like I got him in position. Yeah, poor fish. Kill it. There we go. <laughs> it was a necessary act. You gotta be, you know, humane with this. <laughs> Can you figure out this puzzle? The slime stops you from grabbing on the ledge. But there was no slime on that particular part. But there is. Well, Shut. I've opened up this door, so I guess I just fell off water again. Congratulations, you have solved the puzzle. Oh, that's annoying backtracking here. Yeah, it is. Um, what was I saying? Um, well, I have something I can talk about, but it's going to be a long thing to talk about, so you say what I you I know said. last time I was complaining about the... You were talking about sarcasm and insults oh, yeah, sarcasm. and Jesse Cox playing that insulting insult game. Insult simulator sounds like it'd be hilarious. It looks like a Flash game, though. Yeah, it like, does. Like, its art style looks like the thing you'd find on Newsground. Yeah. Like, the, it's a, actually good, a good game on High Newsground. quality Newsground. Yeah, high quality Newsground. But it has the same sort of way they do that they used to do their characters. It's quite nice, though, really, I enjoyed the, it? I enjoyed the Newsground fighter. Oh, they had... Everything will burn. Strafing and such helps when figuring out what you're doing. Not very efficient with a flamethrower, are you? Well, I was expecting to set off those, uh, you know, explosives. Yeah, I remember the last time you tried to kill something with the explosives and it failed miserably. It was kind Yay! of funny. Yay! You know, Insult Simulator seems like a game where you you need to be able to be kind of British and understand Britishness. You mean like the Rocky and Bullwinkle movie? Yeah. Which sounds like it was just made by the British. Probably was made by a British person. Because mm. I actually 
for a lot of that stuff. Yeah, a lot of the jokes from the Nostalgia Creek Rocky and Bulk thing, seeing the sort of scenes, were like, those were funny. Those yeah. Were- those were gosh darn hilarious. Then again, I kind of like any form of comedy that, you know, insults itself. <laughs> I, I it's find, called having humility. I find it very relatable and entertaining. Is this timed? Oh no, it's just annoying. Um. Oh wow, Ratchet and Clank has turned into a 2D platformer. It kind of has. They used to have sections like these. Nexus. Wait, was it Nexus? I wasn't the camera. Was that the last the one I played? The camera perspective is a bit... Was Nexus the one just before the, um... How did I not even touch any of those? You jumped around it. Um... Nexus was the last one. The one with the yeah, uh, ne- lady villain. Nexus was also had a better story than this, really. Um... I would say deactivate the one in the middle for now, because it's got two blockers. See if you can make anything. Oh no, you have to use that one. You have to use all of them, it seems. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> that was easy enough. Um, but, uh... Hold on, go back a sec. Look to the... Uh, that way. Jump ah, I it. see. Jump around it. Or... Do that. Yes! Whatever you did. <laughs> There's a much easier way to... Mm. Okay. Uh, you found money on the floor, apparently. Yay! Sweet, delicious Cheerio money. Um... Oh, oh, see what I meant by the weird... Se- Sega made a, um... Oh, yeah, that's what I was Oh, yeah, say. Sega made a... I'm assuming... Fake... It. Well, kind of... It's technically not a fake trailer, because it is actually for... Sonic that exists. Yeah, I, I, I think I get what you mean. The Sonic social media team, once again, is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they made, like, a parody trailer of their own material. And it's beautiful. And it's... Done, like, a kind of, like, summer... Teenage romantic comedy. romance comedy. Yeah. And it's beautiful in every way, shape, and form. Yeah, well, that's everything that Sega has. Uh, Sega are great. <laughs> Sega's uh, social media page has touched lately. Yeah. But, um. I mean, Sega would be great if they could remember that they have, oh, yeah, other properties. Ne- Nexus. Ratchet and Clank Nexus did actually have 2D sections, and they were quite fun. They were with Clank once. Uh, you, once speaking you... of Ratchet and Clank, which admittedly it's not really much saying. Speaking of Ratchet and Clank, given we're playing Ratchet and Clank, um, <laughs> I will say this now. Yeah. It'll take you a very long time to get all the expl- money that is hidden away in here. There is also the very real possibility you drown whilst trying to do so. My advice is to. Not do it. Unless you're like me, who is obsessive with money and had a lot of time to kill. It depends how long of an episode you want to be you... To be fair, it's... Blowing up boxes. True. Should probably just progress. I mean, and it's not... I really want to eat those Cheerios. You are torturing me with this. <laughs> I am actually really hungry. A lot of things make me hungry. Which is strange, because you don't eat that much. I know. I mean, your friends think otherwise, but... Well, compared to you, I don't eat a lot, but compared to you, whales don't eat a lot. Oi. Well, well, to be fair, whales snack on, like, the smallest thing in the entire ocean, so... Yeah, but they're just constantly <laughs> eating, basically. They just, like... They don't even really open their mouth when they're eating. So... Um... The old Ratchet and Clank. I really want to play the old Ratchet and Clank games on this. Um, but yeah, um... I was at a game the other day, um, picking up Dragon Ball Universe 2. That's another thing I can comment on. Yeah. But I need to play that. I might play that after this. Okie dokie. Did you want to play it after this? Uh, you can have a go first. Cool. I'll suffer. I'll see how you do with the 
situation how it's a lot easier having all your old stuff. I mean, technically... I mean, that was always going to be the case, but it's like... Because they must have made it balanced so that even if you haven't played it before, you can still do the first few missions easily enough, but it was just so easy. They've, it, it, like, they've seemingly tried to make things harder. Like, uh, for instance, uh, in Parallel Quest, where, say, originally in the Kaioken Goku one, Goku gets up and goes Kaioken. Gohan also gets up. Okay. A snorkel. Rebreather. An O2 mask. Yeah. Try as he might, he can... Oh, he can breathe underwater now. Yep. Um, but yeah, um, so I was in game the other day, and this couple came in. Now you can explore everything. Yeah, this couple came Except in. Except don't go too far, because you will be eaten by a giant fish. Oh, I thought that was Raritanium. There is Raritanium around what, us. Too far down, or too far... Too far out. Okay, well, I'll just circle around. You'll see him stalking the outside, I think. Yeah. You also see him start chasing you down. So I really like the underwater graphic. I like underwater stuff. It's really pretty. Uh, my favorite when it comes to graphics, as as showcasing good graphics, is when it rains. That's fair. Like a game looks its best when it's raining, in my opinion. I think a game looks it, its best like when it it's looked, it, it was like <laughs> that even with Watch Dogs Two. Sorry, with um, which with uh, Watch Dogs, despite how it lagged every time it rained. <laughs> Well, lagged when it rained and you were in a car going full pelt, and it's like, yeah. Um, but yeah, you finished. And your this thing. couple came in, and their son had wanted to get uh, one of the Assassin's Creed games. Uh, the father, I'll say, good on him, noticed that the game looked way too violent. Notably, it was called Assassin's Creed. Um. And so he didn't want to get that game for his son, who was, I think, I'd uh, guess about eight. So, eight or ten. Yeah. Um, but, so he thought, well, they'd been advertising this game called Crash Bandicoot for PS4. Um, but, of course, that's just Sony, you know, hyping it up to, you know, when it eventually releases. It's not out yet. And so they were told that it's not out yet. So they would look like they were going to just leave the store entirely, not getting a game. Um, so I suggested them, um, oh, if you're interested in watching uh, in the Crash Bandicoot and want a game kind of like it, in terms of, you know, not being too violent and all that, uh, I'd suggest Ratchet and Clank. Yes, not too violent. You just blow up Yeah, people. but when I think of, of violence, this isn't... Look out for evil birds. You're like... That's why I had a unique strategy for it. I had never done that before. We're being overrun by the bird population. Quick! <laughs> blow them up with grenades! <laughs> I need to protect myself. I'll shoot this grenade launcher down! Let's be honest. What you really need is a coat hanger. That was kind of entertaining. You also failed to use the grappling hook. Was that necessary? Yes. No, I think the sheepinator will be a good weapon for you. It doesn't have ammo. Oh, neat. <laughs> Where are you going? I thought they were, I was looking for stuff, basically. Unfortunately, this game did the cardinal sin of not having a secret behind the waterfall. Mm. Which is one thing I think... If there's a waterfall and you don't have a secret behind it, is it really a game? That's a bit unnecessary, wasn't it? You're going all out on, like, three guys. <laughs> they were three very tough guys. No, they weren't. Two of the fish die in one hit. Um, and the other guy's just an angry-looking crab. Just use the flamethrower. You're just wasting proton drum ammo. Look, there'll be plenty of enemies to use the flamethrower on later. I mean... Like these guys. I wasn't actually expecting that to work, but okay. Now you have to fight another platter brainer octopus thing. You can actually just shotgun it at this distance. 
use whatever weapons you so desire. Yep. I mean, it dies pretty quick. Um, yeah, but... Ratchet and Clank was pretty much one of the only games I could think of to even suggest to them to pick up. Because they were restricted to just the PS4. Because they suck! And like, just even then, Ratchet and Clank is a 12 rated game. It's one I don't think really suits a 12 rated game. Because its violence is, you know, just cartoony explosions and against robots. Was there anything else that gives it a 12 rating? Or is it just violence? I don't know. I can't remember. Well, there's nothing, the like it may say, damn. For all I know. Damn it! Does it have gambling? No, it'd be an 18 then, wouldn't it? No gambling. Um, and it doesn't have... I doesn't have any sexual themes or no. drugs. I mean, it might have drugs. I don't <laughs> know. Ratchet turns has, out. You yeah. know, black market weapon trading, but that's apparently not considered anything to age rate. So. All the Ratchet and Clank games have had black market weapon trading. That's strange, I can't activate this. Yeah, you can't. You have to walk back. Why was this here? Because it's still there from the quest. <gasps> Jesus. So, are you gonna add anything to your thing? Oh, well, oh. I think I'm about to get die. Yes. No, you're not. You're fine. Next to land. Oh, okay. Fair enough. You'll see the fish coming for you. Because, you know, this map seems to indicate that I'm off nowhere. Now, if you look look to your right, you see those dudes? Yeah. The green ones, the fence, they'll eat you. Okay. The orange ones are fine. Okay. Um, you can go surprisingly far. But, yeah, um, when it came Stop to... Stop making me angry! Like, the only ones I could think of off the top of my head were Knack... Little Big Planet 3, which we didn't have a good experience with, that one. Tear Away. Uh, Tear Away Unfolded, which and I want to play. Gravity Rush Remastered, I guess. And, like, I guess I think Minecraft is available on PS4. I guess that's a thing for kids. Yeah, um, once the kids start, it's done, never stop. There's the Lego games that are available, but they're multi platform, but yeah, they are available. The Lego games. I don't. They're not as good multiplayer because that god awful split screen. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel they're not as good now with the voice acting. Yeah. Um, let's see. What was the other thing? Um, Where are you going? Just <laughs> drunkenly walked <laughs> off the pier to your death. It was. Uh, oh, I've got six. Exactly what I needed for. Um, Flame for it. Or shotgun. Whatever it was. Shotgun. Was it six? No, it's definitely not six. And what was it then? Was it combustor? Combustor, probably. It wasn't fusion grenade. Go to combustor. No, it wasn't, com wasn't combustor. Um, Maybe you're just reading. No, I think it was. No, it's pixelized, that was it. Yeah, you need more than six. Oh, wow, I need a lot more. That's ridiculous. Well, I use the combustor more anyway, so I might as well. There's a lot more ammo. Um, Heavy plasma, I think that increases the damage. It does. But yeah, like, <sighs> like it's weird. Like, Ratchet and Clank, I wouldn't consider a you know 12 raid game because that puts it at the same age rating as Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. I'd have put Cyber Sleuth as a 16. <laughs> yeah, but no, it that's may only 12. be subtle, but Jesus like, Christ, it is not that subtle. Like Ratchet and Clank to me seems just like a seven age rating. Yeah, but. I Do mean, you know what Cyber Sleuth, I guess it's because we're older that we can understand all the innuendos, but at the well, same time... you got to think, times have changed a lot. A lot of the games that were considered 18 are kind of just kind of like, eh, God of War exists yeah. nowadays. And it's like, yeah, but that's not the point. That doesn't chop this from being 18 just because people have grown... I don't know, there's lots of really, uh, you know esque games back in the day. Admittedly those were before the age rings were, you know, put forward. I still love how Night Trap started that. Night Trap and Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Uh, Hell of a pair. We need a crossover of that. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, it's, it's basically just that, you know, this was like basically one of the only games I could really recommend. Basically what he's trying feet. to say is the PS4 sucks. But it's like it's for kids like, anyway. 
I consider Which, this for kids, and yet it's rated 12, so at that point it's not for kids, it's for teenagers. No, only. it's not for kids, because that's a company. F-O-R kids. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. For-R. 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 For-R kids. Floor kids? For that's aura. a type of plan. <laughs> for-R. For-R kids. That's not how you say words. Anyway, no, but It's bye. how you pronounce letters. Bye. For- Oh, we're leaving now. Bye. <laughs> no.